This girl is making at least five and a half thousand dollars a month selling custom beats. Another girl has raked in seventeen thousand dollars doing the same. And these are just a couple of the many ways to make money using the AI music generator Suno AI. If you want to learn how, you're in the right place. Welcome to AI World. But if you haven't heard of Suno AI, it's a tool designed to create catchy tunes from simple text prompts, complete with vocals and instruments, like this one. or instrumental tracks like this. The magic of Suno AI, and the reason why it opens up so many money-making opportunities, is that you can now create fairly customizable songs with less than 1% of the time and hassle of traditional methods. If you're new to Suno, check out our Jumpstart tutorial on the basics before diving into one of the tactics we'll cover. Okay, no more dilly-dallying. Let's dive into the first method to earn thousands of dollars with Suno, creating type beats. Type beats are instrumentals that mimic the style of a particular artist. By creating these, you can attract artists looking for a specific sound and sell the beats directly to them. For example, Tay Keith, a well-known rap producer's type beats, are incredibly popular right now. So to create a Tay Keith type beat, we'll try to think of as many descriptors as we can for the type of beats he makes. Something like trap beat, extremely heavy bass, xylophone sound, audio clipping, high quality. Here's what I got. Sounds pretty good, right? I bet even Tay would be impressed by this beat. And while it may be a long shot to connect with already popular artists like, say, Drake, you can target up-and-coming artists with a similar vibe. They're often looking for quality beats and might be eager to buy what you created. Lots of YouTubers use this strategy too. If you want to produce tight beats, building a strong YouTube presence can also be very profitable. Take this YouTuber, for example. If you browse through his YouTube channel, you'll quickly spot a bunch of tight beat songs, many of which have already been sold. Additionally, this YouTuber claims he made $839,968.99 just from selling tight beats online. He says that a big part of his success is building a strong YouTube presence. To grow your YouTube channel, he advises posting videos daily while maintaining high quality. He suggests experimenting with different types of beats to see which ones go viral. He also stresses the importance of studying your competition and keeping up with the latest trends in selling type beats. If you want to use this strategy, make sure to watch our other video focused on how to make awesome type beats. We'll paste the link below, so be sure to check it out. The next strategy is all about reaching out to brands with a pre-made song. In the past, you had to get a brand's agreement before it made sense to invest the time to create a promotional song, but now, thanks to how fast and easy it is to make songs with Suno AI, you can reach out with a snippet right away. When creating a song for a brand, it's important to match their energy. If the brand is humorous, like Dr. Squatch Soap, make a humorous song. If it's serious, like a life insurance company, you may want to create a serious one. You can ask Suno AI to create a playful advertisement theme song with humor and lively beats to match their vibe. Feel the lift, feel the thrill. Time to wash with Squatch Soap Skill. Lather up, time to go. Clean and fresh, we steal the show. Dr. Squatch, let's go wild. Soap so good, it drives you wild. Get the scrub, feel the buzz. This beat is fire. Dr. Squatch is bound to attract a ton of customers with this killer sound. But how do you get in touch with these companies, you ask? Well, if it's a smaller company, around 50 or less employees, the easiest way might be to message the company's social media pages directly. Small business owners tend to manage their own social media pages or use a PR firm. So messaging their social accounts gives you pretty good odds of reaching someone who manages their marketing and has decision-making power. For smaller companies, you could also go through the contact us forms on their websites or even call the phone numbers listed on their Google page and request to speak to the person in charge of marketing. If the company is larger than 50 employees, you'll need to shift your strategy because even though they'll be willing to pay significantly more for the song, connecting with the right person is going to be more difficult. 
They might have a dedicated social media manager who won't have the decision-making power to purchase your jingle, so going through socials probably won't work. Instead, head to their company LinkedIn pages under the People tab and search keywords like marketing or PR to find the most senior marketing team members at each of the companies you've made jingles for. Copy their profile page URL, paste them into the first column of a Google Sheet, then head over to Phantom Buster via the link in the description and start your free trial. Then head to the LinkedIn Profile Scraper tool and follow the instructions to scrape emails and a host of other info from the profiles on your Google Sheet. Once you have their emails, simply send a snippet of the song with a short sales pitch and ask that they meet with you to discuss the price. If you're struggling to craft a persuasive message, don't hesitate to ask ChatGPT for assistance. ChatGPT can help you create a compelling message to convince them to purchase your beats. Be sure to include the name of the company you're selling to for a personalized touch. Just like this one. Now, let's say you charge $100 for the beat and you manage a very conservative 10% conversion rate, meaning three out of 20 businesses you reach out to actually buy the song. With this scenario, you've been making $300 per day. Multiply that by 20 working days in a month and you're looking at a solid $6,000 per month. Not bad for some creative work and effective outreach. If you're still on the fence about trying out that strategy, here's another one you might find appealing. Creating a Fiverr account and offering personalized songs. Take this girl, for example. She's earning $5,500 a month by selling custom songs for anniversaries, birthdays, and more. And there's another girl who's made $17,700 doing the same gig. As you can see on her profile, she's charging $60 for every minute of a song. So a three-minute song would be $180. Now with Suno AI, you can whip up a complete song, lyrics and all, in just seconds. For example, let's say we've been asked to write a humorous song for Clyde's 40th birthday by his best friend. Let's try a humorous R&B song about my best friend Clyde, who's getting older, and about how the years are flying by. Suno hit it on the head with this one. Check it out. Napping's his new thing, but Clyde's still my king. That is a bar right there. To make this a reality, consider creating a video introducing yourself, just like those successful examples we discussed earlier. Show a snippet of a song you've already created using Suno AI in your introduction video. Make sure your profile is as detailed and engaging as possible. Highlight all the services you can offer in the music scene, and you should probably mention your beats are AI generated, but there's no need to mention Suno AI. That way, people will be more likely to hire you instead of going straight to the website. The last strategy to make money with Suno focuses on stock music marketplaces, platforms where businesses, content creators, and individuals can acquire royalty-free music for diverse purposes like videos, commercials, films, podcasts, and more. By uploading your music to these platforms, you make it accessible for purchase by customers in need of background music for their projects. This avenue presents a fantastic opportunity to monetize your music production skills and expand your audience beyond traditional distribution channels. However, it's worth noting that while these platforms are easy to get into, it can be challenging to make substantial income due to saturation with other music. They're mostly utilized by non-serious individuals such as YouTubers, rather than brands seeking music for high profile projects like TV commercials. Some popular non-subscription-based platforms include Pond5 and Audio Jungle, which offer individual track purchases. On the other hand, subscription-based royalty-free music sites like Artlist, Premium Beat, Shutterstock, and Epidemic Sound provide users with unlimited access to their libraries for a flat fee. For example, at Artlist, users reportedly receive around 35 cents for each download. While this may seem modest, many users have garnered thousands of downloads with minimal effort. However, it's important to note that earnings from these platforms are typically paid out annually, making it challenging for them to serve as your primary income source. And remember, a juicy income doesn't just fall into your lap. It's all about the grind and staying committed. While some artists may achieve success quickly, it's essential to consider the long-term sustainability of your goals. It's about finding the balance between short-term gains and long-term growth. I'm curious, which of these strategies is the most exciting to you? Let me know and be sure to check out our Suno tutorial for a deep dive on how it works. And if you want more videos like this in your orbit, make sure to subscribe to AI World.